Hey guys, it is iAppleTech here, and today I'll be showing you how to set up a Spire proxy host server that will allow you to get Siri on your iPhone 4 or your iPod Touch 4th generation and your iPhone 3GS and iPad. So first we want to open up a new virtual machine of Ubuntu. Click on download then, and this will download onto your Mac via Parallels desktop that I'm using. Once the Ubuntu has finished, just go back up into Parallels Desktop where it will load back up. Okay, once it is loaded back up, we want to just click Parallels here and then type in a password. Make sure it's long enough. Mine's going to be 123456 and then just retype that again and then click save and then once my virtual machine has booted up you'll have a nice interface like this and this will this window will pop up and you want to upgrade so it'll be right there if that the window does not pop up you want to click yes upgrade now this will take a while I've sped it up a lot type in your administrative password and then click OK and then this will install you want to click start the upgrade then it's me fetching some files that will take a while about eight minutes or so then you do want to remove these other packages, so select remove. And then you want to restart Ubuntu here. So then just click on restart and only take a few seconds to restart your virtual machine. Now by the way, this video is going to go fast since I have to fit it in under like 18 minutes. So if you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I'll get to all of my promise, guys. So once it is loaded back up here, just go ahead and, and type in your password. And then we just want to click on the virtual machine at the top and just create a snapshot just so we have like a, a way just in case anything happens we can always come back to this snapshot but um, you're really not gonna make any errors or anything like that if you just follow this tutorial step by step you should be in the right place so then just go ahead and name that Ubuntu clean installation I think or install that works too and then it's going to be creating a snapshot this is always useful once it is done creating the snapshot you want to go down the bottom right hand corner and click that little spider web icon then go over to bridge network and then go to Wi-Fi then at the top of your screen you'll you want to click that little icon and click wired connection now just restart your connection and then re-click that icon and go down to connection information this is where it's going to tell you your IP address that you'll be needing for your iPhone 4s and your iPhone 4 so you do you do need an iPhone 4s to get keys from it to be able to use your iPod or your iPhone or your iPad so then just close out of that because we'll come back to that later on in the video so now we want to go to the Ubuntu store and we are going to search for Dropbox Dropbox will allow us to add their certificates to our iPhone 4 and in a nice and our iPhone 4s a nice quick easy way so just go ahead and start that type in your 
administrator password again. And then once Dropbox has downloaded, this will pop up. And then click Start Dropbox. If you have an account, just go ahead and sign in. If not, sign up. Type in your email and your password to log into Dropbox. And then go ahead and click Next. and then just click next two gigabytes fine then typical and then just skip the tour because it's a waste of time and then click finish so then go ahead and type in your password again and it is done finished downloading so now we want to type terminal and this is where it's going to get really fast guys just bear with me in the description down below I'll be having some codes that you just need to type in and click enter so that was the first code this is the second code right here then you want to scroll down about 62 lines till you see double click dot net and add that you want to address dash slash gazuzi dot apple dot com and then your IP address which is right there you can always find that by going to the top right hand corner of your screen that little icon and then just go ahead and save that and then exit to go back to the command prompt and then you're gonna paste the next code in and click enter and go ahead and copy the next one paste that in this one's gonna be downloading to take about a, a few minutes and keep on pasting in those codes it may seem a little confusing but it's just copying the code each line by line and clicking enter this next one will take a little time to download so just give it roughly around 10 minutes or so. And what these codes are really doing is they're downloading from a source that a person has already made, which now makes Spire legal to have on your iDevice. <clears throat> so there we go. It is done. So then just go ahead and paste the next one in. And then go ahead and paste the other one in. If you fall behind, just go ahead and pause the, the video and continue at your own pace and then go ahead and paste the next one in and then click Y or enter in Y for yes and then go ahead and paste the next code in and this will be downloading the Siri proxy 0 0.3.0 Okay, then go ahead and paste in the next line of code. And then that's a nice quick and easy one. And then go ahead and paste another one. That one's also quick. And go ahead and paste that one. Bunch of code there. Most of you will not know what this is, but some of you may. And then go ahead and paste the next line of code. Uh, this one will take some time as well. I've sped up the process even more just to save time here. And it's going to be downloading the Siri Proxy Bundle.
Okay, once that is done downloading, you're going to paste in the next line of code, and we are done. So your proxy on port 443. Nice. So now what we want to do is we want to go into our Dropbox. So you want to click on View, Show Hidden Folders, and before we go into our, our Dropbox, actually, we're going to look at the Siri Proxy folder. So it's the dot Siri proxy. Go ahead and open that folder up and then copy that's that first folder in the top left of the screen, the CA dot pen or whatever. That right there. So then open up Dropbox, you use the icon in the top right hand corner of the screen, and it'll bring up a nice dialog box. You can just put that down below. And then what you're going to do is you're going to right click on that folder in the Siri proxy folder and then click copy and then put that in the Dropbox. Now this will send it through the air in the Dropbox server. So now we have to go on our iPhone 4S and make sure you've downloaded Dropbox and signed in and you'll get that folder right there. Go ahead and click on it. Then in the lower left hand corner, click that little icon and then copy link to clipboard. And go ahead and open up your Safari and paste that link into your Safari. Then it will go ahead and install profile Siri proxy CA. Just click next. And now we are trusted, so that's good. So now you want to go into your Wi-Fi, click the little blue arrow next to it, and go to the DNS. And this is where you want to put it as the same as our IP address that we looked on Ubuntu. So mine was, at the, the last two numbers were 23, so I'm just going to delete that 1 and put in a 23 so that they match. And then I'm just going to turn airplane mode on and off just to reset it to make sure that it works. So now I'm going to test my iPhone 4S to see if it is working with the Siri proxy. So I go ahead and test it, test Siri proxy, and the proxy is up and running. So now this is going to be on our iPhone 4. We have to go you can get uh, three files, Spire, iFile, and Dropbox. Dropbox is on the App Store, the other two are on Cydia. Once you open up Dropbox, you go ahead and click on that icon, the ca.pem, and go ahead and copy that to your clipboard just like we did on the iPhone 4S. Once you have copied it to your clipboard, just go ahead and open up Safari again and paste it into the URL. And this is going to be the same process just like the iPhone 4S that we did. Siri Proxy CA, go ahead and install that. Click Next, and then it is trusted. So that's good. So then go into your settings and turn on Enable Siri. And then you want to go back into General and then back into Settings and scroll down to Spire. And this is where you're going to add to Proxy Host. It's on the screen right there. Gazuo.apple.com. Make sure it's HTTPS. Just go ahead and pause that video so you can add it. And then on the iPhone 4, this is where you just got to follow along. We're going to be going into ETC on iFile, going into Host, Text Viewer. We're going to edit the text to put our um, IP address and then the, the gazoo dot apple.com
gazoni.apple.com right there. Make sure you spell it correctly. So it's the IP address space gazoni.apple.com. Just like we added the URL for our proxy. Then click done and then save. And you want to go back into var mobile library and scroll down to preferences. In preferences, you want to look for the where is it? The com.apple.assistant.p list. And you want to open that up, accounts, click on that. And this is where we have to add three different types of accounts in here. So the first one is going to be called Ace Host. The next one is going to be Assistant Identifier. So there's our Ace Host right there. Just go ahead and click Done. The next one, like I said, is Assistant Identifier. Then click Create. Make sure you spell it correctly. <laughs> and then the last one is speech identifier. These are all going to be um, items for our Siri to work. So then just go ahead and click Done. And go back into our Wi Fi and turn our DNS to the same IP address, so the 23. And then go ahead in airplane mode and just turn that on and off just to reset everything. Make sure you have a nice clear connection. And we are finally ready to test the Siri on the iPhone 4 or the iPod Touch 4th generation if you had one. So let's listen in. Test Siri proxy. Proxy is up and running. What is the weather like in New York City? There's some bad weather coming up for New York City. New York today through this Saturday. So there we go, guys. That's how you get Siri on your iPhone 4, your iPod Touch 4th generation. I know it went fast. I'm sorry. I had to get it all in. But if you have any questions, leave them down below and subscribe for future tutorials. Thank you, guys.